This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by Domain.com. So one of the questions that we get over at our email, feedback at hack5.org, a lot is, have you checked out so-and-so OS? And this is just one of those. So Daniel wrote in and he said, have you heard of Backbox? It's this Ubuntu-based operating system with a focus on pen testing with an XFCE desktop. But unlike Backtrack, it is actually functional as a day-to-day -day operating system. I've been using it as my main OS for five months now, and I truthfully believe it doesn't receive enough attention. So we decided to give it some attention. So I checked it out. Now, Backbox was created in 2010, and it was recently updated to Backbox Linux 3.0. It is oriented towards penetration testing and security assessments. And it comes with some minimal tools used for ethical hacking, more than 70 of those minimal tools. And some of them include Metasploit, Nmap, Ettercat, Wireshark, Kismet, John the Ripper, just to name a very few of those 70. And due to its own software repositories, it stays updated with the most stable versions of all of the different tools that is previously installed in it. So I wanted to go ahead and check it out with you guys today. And it's very nice. It's very smooth. And it's a simple detailed desktop. So when you get in here, you can obviously tell that it is XFCE based. And I pulled up ZenMap over here. You can get into all their different tools over here by auditing, services, updates. Uh, I like when you go into these different subcategories that everything is already prearranged for you. So if you go into exploitation database, you can find SQL map, for example, documents and reporting, there's magic tree. So it has plenty of stuff that is actually really useful for security and um, auditing. So I pulled up Nmap over here, or ZenMap, based on Nmap. Uh -huh. Nice little GUI. I love my GUIs. And I targeted our local wireless over here, flash 24, and I did a little kick, quick scan to show you basically that it actually works. And it's really, really easy to start off with. And I already have my hosts and my services. Ah, so we know it works, which is very nice. And I actually wanted to get a little bit of comparisons going on. So you know that it's organized, it's got a simple design, the GUI is really nice, and it's very obviously made for pen testers in mind. And the big things about it, other than those, is it's really lightweight because of XFCE, so it's not going to take up a whole bunch of your resources, and everything's already previously built in. So there's not a whole lot that you have to download the first time that you use it. Now, let's compare this to Backtrack for a second. Backbox is definitely not as popular as Backtrack, and pretty much anybody can tell you that. It doesn't have as much support or as many new releases, and Backtrack uses GNOME as compared to Backbox. Backtrack also started around 2006, so it has a lot more details in it, and Backtrack has a few compatibility issues with sound and video, but when you first start up Backbox, not so many issues. Pretty much everything is already figured out for you. And Backtrack is definitely a lot more popular. It's probably the ch top choice for most security enthusiasts, but if you just want something day-to-day, -to -day, Backbox is probably where you want to go. Also, let's talk about Black Buntu. Do you guys remember that one? Where is it? If you Google it, nothing comes up. It's the, the .com name is for sale, and the wiki isn't even there. There's, I don't know what happened to Black Buntu, but, well, I can't really do a comparison since it's no longer around. And then there's Pentu which is also a really lightweight one. It uses Enlightenment as the Windows manager. And this one is based on Gentoo. It's available as a live CD or a live USB. The nice thing about Pen2 is it's also updated every few months. And it's customized with a whole bunch of tools, customized with a kernel. So everything is really, really nice. And because of Enlightenment, it's also very lightweight. So I think out of all of them, Backtrack is still probably the best option for security. But if you want something that's lightweight, something that's really, really good for day-to-day -day use, N2, Backbox, no, no, I'm kind of iffy about both of them. I, I'm kind of leaning towards Backbox at the moment, to be honest. But I do want to hear what you guys think. Let me know which one is your top choice. And I know there's a whole lot of other security and pen, te pen testing auditing operating systems based on Linux and based on Gen 2 and whatnot out there. So let me know about those ones because I definitely want to check out the best ones and maybe do some more comparisons in the future. So you can always email me, feedback at hack5.org, with your choices. And 
you like what Daniel did, and send me your favorite ones. If you're setting up a website to start a new business, showcase your portfolio, your blog full of cats, domain.com is the best place to go for your next great idea. And get this, if you're considering a new domain name, consider getting um, a .com. That one's the original. It's totally globally understood. It lends credibility to whatever your material is. And if you want to get yourself a .com, you can get one over at domain.com. They are the best place to do business. Shannon and I use them because they're so easy, reliable, affordable. They've got an active social media presence. You can hit them up on Twitter at domain.com and see, it's just so fun doing business with them. And get this, they're huge fans of Hack5, so they want to hook you up and they want to get you 15% off their already affordable domain names and their web hosting. All you have to do is use the coupon code HAK5 at domain.com's checkout. That's 15% off and big savings. So don't forget to use the coupon code HAK5 when you think domain names, think domain.com. Time once again for the Technolist Photo of the Week. This one comes from Carl. He sends us a few photos of his hacker gear and he says, I love the show, got my two pineapples, one for work, one for R&D, and these things rock. Another great tool for my toolbox. Oh, he's got a tango mode, that thing. It's really simple. All you do is just set the other one instead of a dot one to dot two, put them on the network together, get one to D off, the other one to karma. You need to do a segment on that. I thought I did. I, did I'm you? not sure. I did one on the Occupy pineapple. I guess I have uh, one on tango the mode. Pineapple, that's it's right. just two pineapples at the same time. If I had a million dollars, let me tell you. Ew. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> is that bad? <laughs> so if you guys have photos that you can always send them over to feedback at hack5.org with the subject line Technolust. Oh my god, trivia. <laughs> Should I read the trivia yes. in Ermagerd's trivia? Yes, go ahead. Dolores Wakes question No, Wars. please don't. <laughs> Early CJA color graphics adapter displays gave the user what two graphics choices? And the answer, Darren, you ooh, seem ooh, somewhat ooh. excited okay. about this. So, Two color for high res, but you could go four colors if you want all low four res. Colors. Four colors at the same what? time. That's amazing. Yep, so two color is 640 by 200, and four color was 320 by 200. Wow, that's really, really horrible. Squishy. It's like, yeah, you get animated GIFs better than that yeah, these days. Yeah, that's pretty bad. What about this week's question? So, this week's question is, what type of memory was used in the Nintendo 64? And I totally remember this Wait, from what? back in the day. Like, you're talking about, like, kind of RAM or kind of flash or what? Is there something special I'm about this thing that I'm not... It. See, now I have to look. I, I love tell you. I love this esoteric has, like, need, have no need to know this stuff. Why I've yeah. spent the last it's week like, researching why? the Tupelov and the, <laughs> and the Vulcan and the Concord and the... There's Stick no the reason expansion. for this. Yeah, there was an expansion slot. Oh, that's right. I remember. You yeah. needed that to, for Turok. You did, yes. Yeah. I, what did I use that yeah. for? Uh, it's Star remember. Fox 64. Good games. Yes. Oh, man, I miss GoldenEye. The so FX you guys Jenna. can answer all these questions over at hack5.org slash trivia for your chance to win some swag. And of course, I want to remind you guys that we value your feedback, so hit us up feedback at hack5.org on the internet emails. Let us know what you think of the show. Yes, and don't forget that you can always follow everything we do over at hack5.org slash follow that has links to all of our social networks, so you can always find out which conventions we're going to, when and where. In fact, while you're at the Hack5 site, go ahead and check out ThreatWire. It's our new show on TechFeed. It's all about your privacy, security, and all things that threaten our internet. I'm very passionate about this one. We got Patrick Norton on this week. Uh, we got some really good stuff coming up. Syria just very cool. pulled to Syria. And <laughs> seriously. Uh, so seriously, we'll, uh, Syria. No, but we'll be serious about it. Uh, this is the show where we joke around, but you can check out that one as well. Uh, you know where there's also, if you're at Hack5 or YouTube, just click on the little store thing because, you know, it's the time to get the fun. Yes, hack and that's the best way to support us. You know, it really check is. out hackshop.com. I remembered the link this this week. <laughs> we have tons of holiday bundles where you work? going on. I remember where I work. <laughs> Yay! I'm going to have to get you like a name tag so you get on the proper bus at the end where? of the day. Oh, that's yeah. where I'm going. Yeah. So yeah, we have um, we yeah. have some discounted products. We have new products in the store. And we I'm just excited about, just coupons. real quick, I'm very excited about these two guys. This is the, uh, the Wi-Fi pineapple bundle that we have here for the holidays. It's got the battery pack and the pineapple and a nice little case awesome. all happy and ready to go. And then, of course, the USB rubber ducky, which just looks like an innocuous little thumb drive. And, of course, through the magic and technology of buying larger lots, we're now able to have them at half the price they were when we initially did them. 
It's Yay! exciting because it's all like manufacturing. Hooray! Who Woo! figured when you buy more, they get less, and then everybody gets happy. Yeah. So Isn't that thank cool? you for everybody that supported that project. Uh, USBRubberDocky.com to find the forums and everywhere to get involved in that. And uh, there's some really cool stuff coming down the pipe. Let me tell you. Um, okay, so that? that's enough rambling. I feel like I was just all over the place this episode, <laughs> so let's take it from the top. You ready? All right. Okay, we're gonna Hello go get some chamomile to... tea and start this again. But uh, if we don't, we should probably just say goodbye. So. Trust your technolist. I'm Darren Kitchen. I'm Shannon Morse. I'm a burr. I'm a burr. Why isn't the gym going up? The jerk, the jerk, the jerk is stuck. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> My jam. <laughs> I just want to make a quick reminder that next Friday, December 21st, is going to be our next Crack the Code Challenge. We've gotten so much feedback on this. So many people want to get in on this one. It's going to be a really big one, so I'm super stoked about this. Head over to hack5.org slash challenge to find out how you can participate. It's going to be this Friday, December 21st at 3.30 p.m. Pacific. I hope to see you all there. What? Where is it? Okay, it. It's already... It's already so... It's so f Well, you have to bleep those. <laughs> <laughs> Paul's like, no!